Artificial insemination, AI, consists of depositing semen inside the female genitals. A woman's partner's semen can be used if he has no significant issues, but nowadays inseminations are mainly carried out using semen from a sperm bank. Insemination requires a strict control of when ovulation takes place. It is important to remember that women only have a short period of very healthy fertility during the menstrual cycle and that the procedure needs to be carried out specifically on those days. In order to do so, either cycle control is monitored or, more commonly, ovulation stimulation is carried out. Two to three ultrasound checks need to be done in order to determine when the best time is and so that the male partner can provide the sperm sample. Before being used, sperm needs to go through a process known as capacitation. In short, capacitation consists of selecting the spermatozoa with the greatest fertilizing potential. Once the sperm sample is ready, it is positioned inside the uterus using a very slim catheter that is basically a transportation system. It remains there until the oocyte that has just ovulated meets up with the strongest spermatozoa in the fallopian tubes where natural fertilization takes place. With insemination, patients do not need an overnight stay in hospital and no changes to daily routine are necessary. It is an entirely outpatient procedure. On the whole, no more than three cycles are recommended because the likelihood of a pregnancy per cycle will not increase. This likelihood is rarely greater than 15% when the partner's semen is used. However, results improve with sperm bank samples, and this is mainly because the women assigned this treatment do not have fertility issues that affect the overall result. Nowadays, it is estimated that around 20 to 25% of women under 35 years of age who undergo insemination at their request and without a male partner, have a 20 to 25 chance of getting pregnant per course of treatment.